guys, my name is Charlotte and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be kicking off my new study abroad series. So I'm very, very excited to say that I will be spending seven weeks this summer in Paris, France, where I will be going with a bunch of other engineers at USC and I will be taking two classes there while just going around and exploring the rest of Europe with some of my friends. I am so incredibly excited. So today's video is essentially going to be me packing for the trip because I leave tomorrow and I have not started packing yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I plan on bringing and just kind of see how this all goes. So I thought I would start off by showing you guys my suitcase. Basically, I got this one for Christmas. I'm not exactly sure which brand it is, but it's super cool because you can unzip this compartment and it literally can hold so much stuff, it's absolutely insane. So I have all the bottoms that I'm thinking of bringing here, a bunch of my tops there, and then all of my dresses and stuff. I'm bringing a lot of sundresses just because they're kind of my favorite thing to wear in the summer. And then I have a couple pieces missing here that I wanna bring just because I'm washing them downstairs. I'm also trying really, really hard to make sure that Everything I'm bringing kind of blends in with a bit of Parisian style in a way. I did a lot of research and I'm trying really hard to cut down on how many jeans I'm bringing with a bunch of holes in them and how many low cut tops I'm bringing and just kind of anything that says that I go to USC or I'm in a frat or I am just essentially an American tourist walking around. So I'm gonna try my best to blend in. It's a little unfortunate because most of my clothes are extremely Californian, which basically means all my jeans have rips in them, and I have a lot of low-cut, bright white tops just because it's what I like to wear. So I'm going to show you guys basically the most basic thing that I am doing for this trip. So I have this app called Stylebook, which I use periodically just because it takes a lot of work. But basically, you can add all of your clothes and basically just take photos of all of it. And then you can go ahead and create looks, if it'll let me. There we go. And you can honestly just go ahead and put all your clothes together and make a bunch of outfits. So it's a lot of work and it really only really works for me because I took all the time to put it together, but it has this section called packing where I am going ahead and using it to help me pack everything. So I have all the clothes that I've laid out in front of me here. It's basically all on this app right here. And then I have all of the looks that I plan on making out of those clothes and then when you're ready you just hit start packing and you can check off everything that you have put in your suitcase well it is many hours later since i last vlogged and i have done very little in those many hours basically i have my clothes essentially all set i still have those couple items in the wash that i need to grab and then i realized that I'm pretty dumb and everyone kept telling me that Paris is going to be really really hot and that just kind of that whole area is going to be really hot so I decided to bring a lot of skirts and sundresses and stuff like that and then I remembered that I'm going to be traveling other places like London and Dublin where it will be slightly cooler enough that I probably needed maybe like a sweater or two or just like something on the cooler side, even if it does get colder in Paris, because right now it's in like the 60s and maybe 70s, but it's kind of rainy too. So I have one sweatshirt that I left here and everything else is in storage in Los Angeles. But I guess worse comes to worse, I'll just have to buy something when I'm over there. I also went to CVS and just bought like a ton of toiletries and just basically different medications and little things that I thought I would need. So also I had gotten this little carry-on bag for Christmas and it's just kind of like a small little weekend bag and it came with this matching toiletries thing which I'm putting all my travel size bottles in for right now. But I plan on doing a lot of weekend trips while I'm there so I thought it would be nice to have the smaller bag instead of my giant suitcase every time that I plan on traveling. So I'm just gonna pack this with all of my other things in here. Hi guys, so it is actually day two of me packing and I'm leaving for Paris tonight at like 5 o'clock and it is currently 11 o'clock so I'm just 
kind of getting situated before I go out to lunch and seeing if there's anything else that I need. As of right now, I have my suitcase essentially all packed. I have all my clothes essentially there and then I brought a bunch of like toiletries and other little things that I thought I would need. And then I have my backpack all packed up as well for my carry-on and I basically just have an extra change of clothes in here in case my luggage gets lost and all of my chargers and I actually have some school supplies as well because believe it or not I am taking classes but I just have makeup and my laptop and all my important papers and some notebooks and books and stuff so that I'm all prepared for that and then I also have this really cool purse that my mom got me basically you can't cut it you can't scan it and the zippers have like these little locks on them so people can't like rip the purse from the strap and it's just because Paris is notorious for pickpockets and I am a very irresponsible person when it comes to losing my stuff so I wanted to make sure I had something that was kind of cute but also could make sure that I could minimize any risks. Okay, so I believe we are all set. I have my entire suitcase all packed up and ready to go. My purse and my sweatshirt for the plane and my backpack as well which is basically everything. The room is kind of a mess, but it's fine. But yeah, so I'm super excited to kick off this series. So I'm very, very excited for this trip and I can't wait to show you guys more.